This is Oscar Mitt. I'm an artist based in South California. Welcome to my humble little studio, which is actually a microscopic house somewhere in beautiful downtown Burbank. You know, it was a little Italian-American bird who somehow coaxed me into doing this, showing you my studio, talking a little bit about my work. And whenever I'm asked to talk about my paintings, it seems that my brain comes to a complete halt. I'd like to think it's because I'm a shy extrovert, but the truth is I have a tendency to be ultra secretive about my process. So let's just let the portraits speak for themselves. This painting odyssey of mine, I've gone through several mediums, pencil, ink, watercolor, collage, silk screen, oil, acrylic. I've even had a brief adult crayon period. But the last decade's been dedicated to painting almost exclusively in the digital realm. Now regarding the technical aspect of my method, uh, I've spent about 10 years pushing pixels around on turbocharged 27 inch IMAX or when I'm on the move, MacBook Pros. I use Photoshop CC and a couple plugins. And my tools are keyboard, mouse or trackpad, an iPad, and maybe an Apple Pencil. And that's basically my studio today. Creating a digital portrait involves creating many versions and each version generates layers upon layers upon layers of arranging and cutting and shaping and coloring and texturizing, building up and refining until everything's in its right place. Once a portrait is finished and signed, I upload it to a printing lab. Over at the printing lab, they'll take the image and meticulously transfer it to any one of several substrates like canvas or paper or paperboard, composite panel, metal, or my current preferred surface, wood panel. After the inked artifact comes back from the lab, the image can look a bit flat, very two-dimensional. So it's not unusual for me to go a step further and embellish that artifact by distressing it or applying paint or acrylic gel medium or some other mixed media to add texture and provide a relief surface. So that's a very basic overview of the technical. digital art going on right now that I'd have to describe myself as a digital painter of portraits, mostly. I've always been fascinated with the human countenance, the face, faces with heads, foreheads, hairstyles, noses and nostrils, chins, mouth, lips, teeth. But it's the eyes. They say the eyes don't lie. They're the windows to the soul and without question, it is the eyes that draw me to any particular subject. It's the eyes that initiate a portrait. It's the eyes that guide me through the composition and set the mood of a portrait. My subjects are, they're almost always non-fictional. By non-fictional, I mean that the personalities portrayed are actual people. 
rather than invented characters concocted from the corners of my cranium. But if I pay close attention to the eyes, and if I'm lucky, I get to expose what's behind the eyes, the reality within, outside the confines of realism. My eyes see that what my subject's eyes are looking for is what is looking. Well, I hope this little video proves to be suitable for whatever its purpose might serve. I want to thank Louise for some supreme nudging. And to those of you watching this at home, stay there, be good to yourself, and be safe.